How you doing, fight uh, fans? EJ uh, Boxing uh, live here to watch this cruiserweight title. Um, WBA, WBA, WBA cruiserweight title scheduled for 12 rounds in Hamburg, Germany. Uh, through in Arsene defending the belt for the third time. Um, for the first time against Guillermo Jones. Guillermo Jones coming into this contest has lost against Steve Cunningham. And I tell you what, yeah, I like the underdog. I think he's under coming in. Zero Arsene is coming to this contest. Um, he's beat Virgil Hill. He beat um, Darnell Wilson. I think that's the Dingling man. I'm not too sure, but that's the Darnell or the Dingling man. And he beat Gono Darshik. Um, he's currently the double He's currently a world champion as well at Cruiserweight, or maybe he is, or whatever. But um, yeah, he's, he's got some good records. Um, he's got some good names on his fingers, Fury Arson. And like I said, Guillermo Jones, yeah, coming into this contest. Got man, he lost against a, 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 a really good fight with Steve Cunningham, 10 round decision. And um, but he got um, a knockout over Wayne Brayford coming into this competition. And um, Zavik Page and um, Jeremy Bates coming into this contest. So he deserved this shot, and let's see how it goes. Guillermo Jones, a southpaw, um, two cruiserweight. Is he southpaw? He can fight southpaw. He can fight all flux and southpaw. Actually, he's got great body shots, and you can see him just digging him in. Um, Guillermo Jones stands at six foot four. Man, <laughs> hey, cruiserweight, two. Um, that's a two, two last cruiserweight boy. So um, yeah, he. Um, so this is a good contest, man. Look at Guillermo Jones just destroying in them hooks. Don King's his promoter. So you'll probably see Don King and boy. For Arsene stands at 5 foot 11, so he's got a um, height disadvantage. Guillermo's got the height advantage and the reach advantage. And he's sticking it on the champion. Oh, look at his body shots. You can hear them from a mile off, man. And uppercuts. Let's uppercuts. <laughs> he's put a beating on Arsene. Through Arsene. Arsene. Um, no, boy, he's just taking a good old beating in the first round here, man. And I tell you what, man, you want, he needs to do something because he can't be taking risks. And Guillermo Jones is just like target practice. Nothing's missing. Look at that, the percentage. Beautiful body shots. Look at that jab. Everything's thrown with bad intentions. That's not a normal, just a pouring jab. That's a hurting jab. Oh, look at that. Right hand's landing in as well. Body shots. Look at that. Left hook. Another left hook. And Guillermo Jones is setting the tone for the fight. He wants to win the champion. And this is how you want to do. When you go against the champion, you got to take the championship. Um, you got to take. You got to go and take it from the champion. And that's what you do. Like he's, he's making no doubt in the judges' minds that he's coming to to put the beating on uh, Arce in Hamburg, Germany. Look at his left hooks landing. The referee's not even gonna get involved. And this is actually a good pace for a Cruiserweight division. No clinching, no holding. And look at his beautiful right hands, Guillermo Jones. Look at that body shot. And you could hear them in, in Hamburg, man, as the crowd in silence and in shock, as the whole time, whole time fans are seeing their, their um, Fury Arsene, one of their favorite sons, getting a good old fashioned booty whipping. And that's what it is. Look at the uppercut right there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Jack the jaw with the uppercut, digs into the ribs right there with that left book to the body and Guillermo Jones is putting an old fashioned booty whipping on, on Fury Arsene who looks like he's out on a different different league look at that look at this man whoa look at this he's also um, Guillermo Jones um, lost uh, I think it was a draw against um, uh, he lost against Johnny Nelson I think it was a draw it was a close contest I think he lost against Johnny Nelson but bloody hell man Guillermo Jones, Johnny Nelson's got the most um, cruise weight defences of any, of any champion in the cruise weight division I think it was like 13, 13, 14, and uh, uh, Marco Hook was close to doing that, and then you saw Gawaki boy upset him in that fight there. So the cruiserweight division is, is alive and well. Bloody hell, man! Look at his body shots here, man. Oh my days, man! I don't know much. Look, and you know what? It's a complete shot in the first round. That's the first punch I seen uh, Fury Arsene actually throw. Another left hook to the body. That was it again. Look at that. He's just taking this. This is just easy, man. This is like the the bullet in the matter door. and you know the bullets eh, my fury arson is coming in to say in the matter door is right there is Guillermo Jones man eh, against the rope let's see if your arson can throw some punches here man you gotta do something no, nope, nothing at all. He just got his hands up, fighting like uh, uh, Arthur Abrahams, and he's doing nothing more than that. He's just taking a beating. That's a good jab by Arsene, but that's all he's got so far. The crowd is silenced as, as uh, Guillermo Jones is going to work 
fighting from uh, Panama. Panama City. Is it Panama he's from? Let me see what country he's from. I think it's, yeah, I think it's Panama. I think it's the same country, country as Roberto Duran. He's putting a beating on him, man. A good old-fashioned beating on him. And I tell you what, man. <laughs> Kimbo Jones ain't joking around, he ain't come to play around, man. Yeah, he's from Panama, man, the same city as Roberto Duran. He's, he's, he's quite old, you know. He's quite old, boy. He's in his 40s. He's in, um, sorry about the thing here. 30, 38, 30 around. No, 38. He's like, uh, yeah, 38 around this fan for this title shot. But he's getting on his, his uh, Guillermo Jones. For it, Arsene, he's a young man himself, though. What a bomb, bomb. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's gonna be in. yeah it was a draw against Johnny Nelson flair player now boy what a fight man yeah Fleur Arsene's old himself he's actually older than Guillermo Jones by like by, by about um, two years so he's about 40 you see maybe that's that's what it is um, time probably gone, gone in the champion's been around too long because he's just taking a beat in here man he ain't doing look at the left hook look at his sweet left hook and a right hook right there behind the guard look at that oh my days man look at Guillermo Jones this is this he's even fight in fighting beautiful body shot again he's walking he's basically standing toe to toe standing no but toe to toe because like toe to toe is another guy's fighting back he's basically standing in the pocket is what it is and just throwing his shots at will and, and the arson ain't doing nothing Jones is just taking the oh look at his uppercuts man look at his wicked uppercut Whoa! look at his body shots uppercuts and if things is landing, the crowd are trying to cheer behind Arsene. He's took another. That was a beautiful right hand. It stunned him. These left took uppercuts here. A beautiful right uppercuts. Look at his shots, man. And I tell you what, man. I don't watch much the champion can take from me. He's just taking a beating as he's just tightening up. And that's the first uh, offensive flurry, flurry by the champion. Guillermo Jones is beautiful, showing some beautiful skills. I tell you what, coming into this fight, oh, this is round three. Um, I tell you what, Arsene coming into this fight, knocking down a um, old Virgil Hill might might think he's getting can do anything, but this here, this is a real live wire, man. Guillermo Jones is coming. This is a bit better from Mo from Arsene. Fear and Arsene, he's doing a bit better here. This is the best he's done. Hey, there you go, he's throwing some shots here. Guillermo Jones also with some body shots of his own. Look at that, left hook to the body and a left hook to, a left uppercut as well. Now look at that, look at his combinations here. Look at that, right uppercut now man he's like a big version of Roberto Durant look at his uppercuts Whoa. hey really bro used to fight like this you know for a big man yeah who can fight inside like this it's amazing really bro used to fight like this to give away his height and fight the same kind of way but Guillermo Jones can fight on the outside as well look at these punches here man I tell you what, from coming from the hard streets of Panama, he ain't joking around, bro. I feel like Arsene, boy, he's, he's bringing the, the, the mean streets of Panama to Hamburg, Germany, and he's taking out on Fury Arsene's face, boy. Because most of the time, he's, he's, he's headshots and body shots, so he's working everything. Referees, timeout, timeout. What's happening here? I think he's, uh. The referee wants to get the call the doctor in. He's calling the doctor over here for some reason. What's happening? Is he nose? Is his eye? What is it? He's got a cut with. There's nothing wrong with him. But right, he's getting broke up is what's getting on. Arsenal's a brave champion though, I'll tell you what, what's happening there. The referee's getting a bit too involved, there's no, there's no need to read. I think, um, you know, just let the fight go as it is. This is, a, it's still, Arsenal, Fury Arsenal done a better in round three. But it's a shout in two rounds already. And the uppercuts are the key for Guillermo Jones here. And that's what he needs to do. Fury Arsenal needs to land something here, man. Land something to back off the challenge. This voracious, young... <laughs> Starving champion, starving challenger, and Guillermo Jones goes to work with his beautiful offensive offensive combination, and everything's landing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the crowd can sense it. The championship might be changing here, changing hands tonight in Hamburg, Germany, boy. As uh, uh, Arsenal awesome comes back, he fires back as a brave champion the way he is. And that boy, he's, I'll tell you what, he, he ain't gonna give up his belt easy. I tell you what, and Guillermo Jones is going to have to work for it because over in Germany, boy, you don't want to let nine go to the scorecards, I'll be honest with you. Even if you're winning, like, you feel like you're winning points. I've seen some fights with uh, Robert Reed against them, the Phantom, Spinocca. He was winning for me on every scorecard and my scorecards, and then he just basically lost the fight. 
I don't know what, they got some points taken off by some dodgy ref, but this here, clean as day, clean work, effective work. Oh, there's Arson answering back and the crowd cheering. Arson as he lands something, but then they go quiet again. As Guillermo Jones, here we go, some good body work. This is now, now the champions woke up. Now we get into a fight here. We might get into a, and, this, and us, but the thing is, Guillermo Jones started so fast. He's got, look at this. This might be a toe-to-toe, -to -toe. this is this is more toe-to-toe -to -toe battle war. Guillermo Jones, look at the Arsenal start. Uh, Guillermo Jones might put too much in the first two rounds, yeah? Looks like he might be tiring out here as Fiora Arsenal starts archering back. This is a, this is a war, man. Out and out, war, slugfest war. Round four. Man, who do you want? I got um, round three. Arsenal answers that back up, but I think that's a Guillermo Jones round. It's a shout out for me. How are you guys scoring it, man? This is scheduled for 12 rounds for the WBA Cruiserweight title of the world. I'm EJ Boxing live here in Hamburg, Germany. And I tell you what, we're the light. This is a delight in, a, in the Cruiserweight division. And the, this is these two campaigners are Blaney uh, veterans. They've seen it all in the Cruiserweight division. And I tell you what, who wants it? Who wants to take it? We shall see. I tell you what, as um, Fury and Arsenal's fans look, with, look, look on with their hearts in their throat, as Guillermo Jones perceives this picky foot and the whooping on, on him, it's a, it, I hear Arsenal's arts and back, Fury and Arsenal's arts and back here, as the crowd are mute in Hamburg, Germany, which most of the time they are, but this is a very competitive fight for me in terms of Guillermo Jones, in terms of he, he needs to be looking for the stop out, stoppage in Germany because you know, go to the scorecards, you might not get it, and he's definitely pulling it on. It looks like He's got his second win here because he's gone back and answering some good shots. Oh, beautiful shot by Fearon Arsenal himself. Best punch, best shot for him of, of the fight. But oh, look at the shots by Guillermo Jones here. Look at the, the, the look at the the, the the precision punching, the combinations, everything's landing. The accuracy, the speed, the combinations. Look at that left hook, things that left hook to the ribs. Fear of Arsenal standing little short right hands here. Guillermo Jones again, landing some good little shots here. Perry's that shot there. Look at he's that look at the uppercut, man. Look at that. He just perry and how can you be so tall and throwing the uppercut? But you know what? Given saying that when I used to watch Lennox Lewis, he used to do the same thing to short opponents. He used to whip the uppercut in. Look at that uppercuts, man. Right through his guard is brutal, man. Brutal. There you go. Throwing off and a couple of shots. You know what, uh, Guillermo Jones, man, he actually looks like Derek Zora a bit to me. Look at that right hand, and the crowd get on their feet a bit. But he's just still taking his shot. Fury Arsenal pushes back Guillermo Jones there. And this is my, this is might be, he's coming back in this round, actually. Push, as he pushes Guillermo Jones back. But nothing more than that, man. I can still see, a, this is due to me, is a Guillermo, Ron, Guillermo Jones round, man. And you look, look what he's doing here. Beautiful shots, man. What a war, man. It's, this is more like it. This is more like it. This is what I expect. And Guillermo Jones, the legs look a bit soft here. Fear of is in tremendous shape. Yeah, so is Guillermo Jones. It looks like he's in good shape. But look at his uppercuts. And I think that's the key. He keeps cranking them uppercuts in. Look at this. And the left hook, right hook right there. Left hook, uppercut, and a right hook. He keeps cranking that combination in there. Beautiful work by Guillermo Jones. Arthur and Arsene's done much better in this round. Much, he had much more success in this round. His accuracy as well. It's more even round than it was in the first and the second. But he's down on the scorecards, in my opinion. Um, I've got uh, Guillermo Jones winning like the, the, the first three. And I haven't given Fury Arsene that round. We're getting into round five. And I'm still going for Guillermo Jones as the referee pulls uh, Fury Arsene to the corner. For some reason, we're going to find out now. Oh, I think it's too much Vaseline. No. Referee's checking his leg. No, he's, uh, referee's uh, being a bit too picky here, man. He's the... Um, I don't know what's going on. He keeps getting on Fury Arsene, but, you know, to check what's going on. But I guess he can see more than I can and see the damage what, um, what Guillermo Jones is doing to him. And He's doing damage is that really putting a, a severe beating on the champion but i tell you what the champion's not giving he's gutty gritty he's not gonna sit there and let a guy just come in in germany his hometown home city and take his belt as he pushes on and tries to try to land, land try to find his love throw his jab here as Guillermo Jones is, is on the outside now, picking some shots again. He goes back to the combination of the uppercuts. Fear Arsene's throwing some shots here as the angle looking on from the corner of uh, of Fear of and Arsene's corner. Well, at some point, you're really going to see Don King sitting in there, just there laughing his head off, man. This is a beating here, man. I've never, look at that. Fear Arsene, that's much better by Fear and Arsene. He's landing more jabs. Look at that. Lower left hooks here. There you go. That's much better from the champion. Timmy Guillermo Jones could answer back here. This is 
passes it much more even round now as the Furon answers, answers. He answers, but Guillermo Jones got an answer for him every single time. For a moment, Furon answers, answers, Guillermo Jones comes right back. And this is a battle of nutrition, fitness, stamina. Who wants it more? Gritness, toughness. I tell you what, man, if you come over to another man's country, boy, and you want to take a belt, you're going to have to rip it from Germany's not the easy place. Guillermo Jones, for me, is definitely doing enough. And the thing is, he's been, he's been in the situation where he got a draw against Johnny Nelson, which everyone kind of felt at the time that he won. He actually won that fight. Carter Cat Thomas was ringside. He was actually disturbed by that fight because he was looking to fight the winner. He wanted to get his belt back because Johnny Nelson took his belt back. And Guillermo Jones, remember these sort of things, and against the Steve Cunningham's decision. So he's, he's holding on to all the grudges and all the things that's happened to him. He's taking out on fear and on his face, mate. And he's doing that at, that at will. He's looking at Shannon Lance on big bombs here. And he's not so much haymakers now. These are tapping punches. I wouldn't call them shoe shine punches. They're definitely damaging because, look, cruiserweights back in the days used to be the heavyweights of boxing. Yeah, so you'd, in the black and white days, you'd probably see these two as heavyweights. But as boxing's evolved now, you have super heavyweights and like guys like Lennox Lewis, Vitaly Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko, and, and Tyson Fury and all these other guys there. Uh, Anthony Joshua. Huge big men. So, but I tell you what, this this is a great old fight. There's no look. If you know, look at this, right? There's no holding nothing. They're doing tremendous shape, and it's a credit to the two of them here. Yeah, they've, they've come in and took this fight very seriously. There's no holding. They're both just standing. I can tell you what. We were asking he's to throw some punches. I've been saying that, mate. He don't need to be standing there, he's throwing a couple of jabs as Guillermo Jones here. He's definitely tiring, he's definitely uh, let go of the power shots we was doing in the first two rounds. He was doing power shots in the first three rounds, now he's starting to, now he's starting to throw a couple more. And that's, that's a good round, I'll give that round to Guillermo Jones again. Am I biased? Why? But I have no bias towards it. I call it how I see it. Um, how do you get, how do you score in the fight? Definitely for Guillermo Jones really this winning the fight. I'll read out the scorecards and um, when we get to the scorecards I'll try and trans I'll translate them who, who they, how they have it. But for me I've got Guillermo Jones winning every single round bar none. The answer that Furion Arsa has definitely come back in the rounds, yeah, but not for me. He's not winning the round. This is a better, this is a better round for Furion Arsa. He's definitely started the round faster in the last three rounds, though. But he's, can he can keep it up? Because every time he does, Guillermo Jones has the answer. But not, there's no answer here as Furion Arsa is coming on. And the crowd can sense in here in Hamburg, Germany, as he's starting to rally, rally back now. And he's definitely taking this round here. It's Furion Arsa. And this is much better. This is much better as his mouth is bleeding. Looking like um, Jeff Wheeler against Jeff. Jack Dempsey boy, blood pouring out of his mouth and I think that's what the referee is probably looking at. As the referee looks on, I think yeah, the referee tapping him and there's no holding, the referee doesn't do much. His mouth is bleeding and that's because of the uppercut. Uh, Jones has been jacking the jaw. This is a Fury in Arsenal's round, no doubt for me. He's winning this round six here and he, he needs to be winning the rounds every from this point onwards if he's trying to get some sort of decision here. Fury and Arsenal's much, much better and the crowd has, you can hear the crowd here in Germany cheering their, their charge, their champion, Fury and Arsene. Yeah, he don't want to lose his belt. Like I said, he's had, like, this is his third defense uh, of the title. Look at his shots. Guillermo Jones just parrying some shots there. But I think to slowly the work, he's been out of work so far in this round. Even though he's coming back, there's Fury and Arsene, a big right hand. Another jab by Fury and Arsene. Um, Jones hook. Arsene's back with some hooks, uppercuts. Look at the uppercuts again, Jones, and Arsene's coming back, man. Left hook to the body by Jones. Another left. <laughs> this is this is a great boxing, man. This is total -to boxing at his best in the cruiserweight division. Scheduled for 12 rounds, like I said, EJ boxing live here, and this epic fight covering for the WBA. Cruiserweight Championship of the World. So who's going to be the number one at the end of the day? We'll find out, man. Look at his shots here, man. Oh, he just missed there with the shots. Uh, he's arson. And Guillermo Jones also some big right hooks back himself. So I say left hook, should I say. And this, this, this is a total boxing. I fear Arsene's, but look at that. Guillermo Jones is rallying back, man. And this is what the challenger needs to do, man, if he wants to take the title. And he's definitely running back as Arsene looks like, like they're wobbling, man. Look at this big man, six foot four, <laughs> a cruiserweight, who used to be a well weight. Yeah, Guillermo Jones used to be actually be a welterweight. 
and he's uh, he's obviously moved up the weights. Yeah, he put in a couple. He's been been in the McDonald's and a couple of foods. Round seven. Is it round seven? I think we round seven or round eight. Are we? Are we in round seven for this WBA cruiserweight title chat to put away uh, cruiserweight championship? And now if you're in Arsenal, he came back. I give you. I give Arsenal that round there. I give him round six. I give him round six. First round, I gave him. He's Arsenal. All right. Look, he looks determined in his face, man. He definitely looks determined. He's Fury and Arsenal. Look at his face. He's Arsenal every shot right now. Arsenal, Guillermo Jones with two or three. So Guillermo Jones, Arsenal with one. Oh, he's coming back now. as Jones. Then he's going back to the uppercuts, which was helping him. We had so much to sell. <laughs> we had so much success in the early, in early part of the early part of the rounds. In round two, freeze. He was doing this: the left look, left hook, and left uppercut straight after. Right, look at that body shots. And this stuff starts slowing people down later on in fights. The body shots, as you, it starts wearing your stamina down, and your legs start freezing. As Fury Arsenal, if you think about it, as the body shots have been landed. Oh, look at that uppercut. That was beautiful. Beautiful. That was beautiful. With both hands here, and he's backing up his Vatan. He's taking a beating. The referee might need, be, need to be looking close here because you don't need to the champion taking too much beating, or the champion or any fighter coming into a box and just taking too much shots in to the head and the body, man. He's answering back though, but he took a beating. Yeah, look at he's wobbling. He's wobbling from the shots from this big six foot four uh, Goliath of a man, yeah, in the cruiserweight division. Yeah, if anything, you can say that Guillermo Jones could be a heavyweight. Yeah, but look, he's look, and the thing is, he's fighting like a small dude right up close and through. Look at it. Look, he's able to evade them shots there by Arson as Arson tries to rally back and nothing lands. As Guillermo Jones keeps bashing the body with his shots here. Look, and he took a lot out himself. Look at his shots here. And oh, this is just like a Guillermo Jones look like. Took, took charge of the fight again and the challenger to me is definitely definitely like dictating the fight now even though it's a good fight yeah they could both of them are throwing punches so far there in the early rounds it seemed to me it was one-sided but it's definitely rallying back now in the shots is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, arson is definitely running back but nothing really look he's landing shots but Guillermo Jones for me is just to take it over and I'm giving this round already I can see it already to uh, this is a Jones round yeah oh look at these shots here you can see look He's, he's putting an exclamation mark onto the round here and he's definitely taking over at the end lot that within the last 20 seconds under the last 20 seconds of round seven and um, Guillermo Jones is stamping his, stamping, stamping his authority on this round shall I say the last 30 seconds of the of round seven Beautiful, beautiful combinations there, Joe. He's looking at it's working the jab a bit, and he's spending so much energy just trying to get to this point here. Referee's calling timeout with 11 seconds left in round seven as he's going to the doctor yet again. This is the third time, ladies and gentlemen. Looking at the jack, I think it's the jack jaw. Is I think his uh, lips split. Well, that's because of the uppercuts, man. Referee says it's fine. Uh, sorry, the doctor said it's fine, and the and the bout um, the bout continues, and and it, now it helps Jerome Jones. If anything, he gets a little breather. Look at this. Oh, does it help more fear in Arsenal? Well, he's the one getting seen by the doctor. Round eight, scheduled for 12 rounds for the WBA Cruiserweight Championship in Hamburg, Germany. I tell you, man, this this fight is brutal, and it's not it's not for the faint-hearted, mate. If you if you don't like if you don't like brutal, brutal stuff, you need to turn away. I was talking to um the Benny Pacheco. He said one of the most brutal matches he's ever seen was um. I think it was it was also again Fernando was it Fernando Fernando versus I can't remember the dude's name now and he said that fight was one of the brutal fights he's ever saw he said that was advertising for them to stop boxing is this fight like that I tell you what mate it's looked like to me it's uh, it's like uh, Fury and Arsenal's face is looking like hamburger right there I know they're in Hamburg but his face looking like hamburger boy he's just his face is getting pounded mate pounded but it's not even his face he's, Jones is bashing his body and his face Man. Brutal, brutal work by Joe. There's Arsene answering back there. He's a, I'll tell you what, man. I, I, pure admiration for Fury and Arsene is a gallant game challenger, um, champion. But the challenger, Jones, Guillermo Jones, means business. Coming from the mean sheets of Panama, bro. Ain't no joke, man. He's not getting anything easy. Last look at Roberto Duran. He was fucked. When he came out as a lightweight champion, he was violent. Guillermo Jones is exhibiting the same sort of guile and craftiness and desire and passion that, he's, that, that, that uh, Roberto Duran is showing. The same sort of uh, determination. And he's just blatantly 
he don't care where is he could like he the guy comes to fight most people when they go to people's backyard in terms of their style of fighting they might take it easy but not Guillermo Jones man he's coming to strip the championship as Rebel Duran stripped it from Kenny Ken Buchanan Madison Square Garden yeah when he took the belt as he hit Kenny Buchanan with a low blow and, and the title changed hands where Ken Buchanan couldn't continue the bout screaming a low blow and I think Ken Buchanan he, 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 he was never recovered from that properly but as we end this fight this bout continues as the this it could this be the next Panama sensation champion I remember there was another guy it was an Alcazar oh, what's his name Pedro Alcazar um, from um, from Panama as well. He but he died. He was another champion. I think it was at the junior flyweight. Um, he went against Fernando Montiel, um, Chocolito, um, not Roman Ch uh, El Chocolito, Rocket Roman Gonzalez, and um, Fernando Montiel. He fought um, recently. Uh, what did he fought? The English guy, the Welsh Mayweather. Uh, I can't remember his name now. It'll come to me anyway. But anyway, yeah, he was the one of the last champions I remember from Panama. They haven't got that many. Um, our, our, our Roberto Duran is the most popular and world known. Everyone knows about Roberto Duran. But this one here, I'll tell you what, man, this is some real vicious violent brutal boxing yeah your exhibition you see it by Guillermo Jones and another round name for Jones here even though Fear and Arsenal have done much better round nine as the referee proceeds to bring Fury and Arsenal even he complaining telling and the Fury and is complaining and not saying the referee saying calm down let the doctor look at you he's saying it's okay Fury and Arsenal is getting to get a big frustrated but the referee doesn't like what he sees that's like the fifth time he's brought Fear an answer to the doctor as the referee doesn't I don't know what he's seeing, he sees something he doesn't like. Well fear an I tell you what, if this continues as the referee keeps bringing the doctor, he knows he's gonna have to rally back. Cause the doc the referee might be thinking to stop the bout. The bout here, man. As as uh Guillermo Jones is, is continues for me, he's won every single round. Bar number six, I gave number round six to Fury and Arsene, but this round here looks a bit more closer. Woo, look at that. You see, every time, yeah, I want to give it, or I might be thinking about giving it to Arsene. Guillermo Jones rallied back with some real meaningful punches, and I, it's hard for me to, to give it, you know, to give it to the, the champion because he's just taken this. You know what? This is a beating. He, and you know what? He's completely been outclassed here. And even the crowd, the crowd can see it as well. This is a complete schooling in boxing 101 here, as what you're watching here. It's not, it's look at it. You see what I'm saying? What are you watching here? Look at it. And Guillermo Jones can sense it. And he's not letting in the scorecards. And Arsene misses with his big left himself. And Guillermo Jones, look at the accuracy. Look at the combinations. Look at the power. And he's landing around the guard, yeah? Around the guard of Arsene. That's Arsene's high guard there. He's landing right around it and just hitting him on his ears and then the back in the jack and the jaw then he then he with his hands up high then he erects the body with his goes to the body look at his uppercuts man he's really getting some elevation <laughs> He's really winding up these uppercuts here and just launching them in as, as Arsene's head keeps dropping back. Look at his head, watch it. Watch some of the shots here. Look at that body shots. As he comes up, look, he goes to the body. So there's no, uh, there's no, there's, there's no like Arsene can hide anywhere. He can't hide anywhere. He just, look, he'll punch the bodies around the guard, go to the body. Look at that little left shot, right shot to the body again by Jones. Look at this. He jabs, look at that run to the body right there. Look at that body shot again. Oh, I had it from here. It is powerful stuff. I tell you, after is a tough man man he's a tough tough man but i'll tell you what i don't I, I, I don't know how much he can take man i don't know how much I, but you know what game of jones look himself look a bit worn as well bro he looks a bit worn as well bro i don't know but you know what maybe he came into the fight looking like that <laughs> but i'm not too sure bro is he taking some shots himself man he don't look no i'm not too sure Barson's face looks bashed up, man. Wearing the Panaman, the Panam Panamanian colours is uh, Guillermo Jones. Look at these shots here, man. Just working. Guillermo Jones is working, looking for his opportunities, looking for his chance to be the, the, the undisputed, or should I say, the WBA Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Look at these shots here. Beautiful array of uppercuts, man. Look at that. As he winds up these shots here, so he can get some some ferocity behind it. Some real bad intentions he's throwing for some of these shots here. And he's gone to work here, coming to round 10, WBA Cruiserweight Championship of the World, EJ Boxing Live here in Hamburg, Germany. Scheduled for 12 rounds, man. And I tell you what, the referee had to work every minute, any minute of this fight here. 
This fight is it gonna go to the school cause if it does man I have a game here in Austin one round it's set for round six. The referee has been is been constantly bringing uh, Fury and Austin to the doctor to check here yeah, if um, if the see the Fury and Austin is okay. Um, the doctor said yeah the bout is happy to, uh, is all right to con it's continue. And uh, what's the referee's name? The referee's name of this bout is uh, the, 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 the referee. This is such a violent, violent bout. The referee Lewis Pardon. Lewis Pardon. Lewis Pardon, that's the referee's name. Is Pardon, yeah. The referee is brought through Arsenal to the corner. Uh, Arsenal's corner like six, seven times already. The doctor looking at him. Maybe I'm exaggerating seven. Probably more like six. But that's still a lot though, looking on the damage as Guillermo Jones is giving to Arsenal's face. Look at these uppercuts here. The damage is severe, man. Real brutal stuff here, man. And I tell you, man, I don't know much he can take from me, man. I don't know much but what he can take from me, man. The average man would have collapsed in. And it wouldn't be because of the champions in his hometown that this guy is brave and guided that he wants to continue. As you can see, the blood, maybe from the previous fights there, as Arsenal comes in with his head there, yeah, um, on the campus. So the address, the logo sign right there. And look, look at these shots here, man. Look at the rare shots. As all the sponsors are coming up on the screen. And look at his uppercuts here. Real violent stuff, man. Oh my days, man. Referee needs to be looking close. These uppercuts are violent. And Fury Austin is backing up. Gilmo Jones picking these shots for these uppercuts. And if Gilmo, uh, look at this. Look at this uppercut. Brutal. Referee Lewis Padon needs to think about. And then Austin also with a left hook of his own. But he's back up against the group for the first time in the fight. And he's taking a beating here, beating up with uh, under 50 seconds in the round 10 <laughs> for this WBA championship. And also look like he'd be losing the belt here. He's taking a beating. Look at his shots, and it's a one-sided exhibition. And I tell you what, I don't know what the referee's waiting for. And the fight's been stopped in round 10, and Guillermo Jones become the new WBA cruiserweight champion of the world. Oh my God! And the referees, the the the, 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 the judges have been to, it's took a lot of judges' hand, and Guillermo Jones did what he needed to. And there's no way you want to let that fight go to the corner as he goes into the corner and prays like Rocky in Rocky IV. Rocky was it Rocky IV when he fought um, Ivan Drago in uh, in Russia? Same thing in the corner goes in and pray. And now the gallant champion, there's the new WBA choose cruiserweight champion of the world. I can tell you, you can see it. You look at that man. And he worked for it. And there's his wife right there. He worked in every second. Yeah, man. Yeah, his wife's pretty as well. He worked for every second of, of every second. He deserved that. And look at these combinations here. The referee could see it. It was a beating. I don't know what the referee is waiting for as well. No man in his life should be able to take a beating like that in front of his fans in Hope Town. There's no way. And he knew it as well. Look at his face. Look at his face. Yeah, Lewis, uh, Lewis uh, pardon, waves it off there. Uh, Look at that, look at this. It was oh look at that crack in there. Look at this crack to score with that jump. Look, somebody's a miss. Look at that left hook. Somebody's a missing though, to be honest with you. But you know what? It's just it's this is a, 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 a amalgamation and accumulation of shots here, man. And no one needs to be taking shots like that in my in my opinion. No way, man. No way, no way, no way. Yeah, they did the right thing, man. And now he's lost his time, lost his championship. But under a brave effort, his lip looks like he's splitting too, man. The lip splitting too, jaws jacked, can't speak, nose busted up. Swelling around both eyes, and that's the do with the uppercuts and the array of punches Jones has been throwing. The big man, he's gonna be a force in the cruiserweight division. And who will step in there with him? Who's gonna step in with this big six for four Goliath from Panama? Man, not too sure this man is in the corner, but yeah, but he's a uh, he's obviously uh, showing his condolences to the champion and showing that he's brave and stuff like that, man. But I tell you what, man, Guillermo Jones came over and did what he did to do. I think he split the man's lip, man. Let me see that, man. Is his lip split? Bleed blood everywhere, man. There's Guillermo Jones posing. He like, man, like, he looked like he went into it. Look at that. He's got some sort of damage, but not too much, man. You see him posing with his wife there from Panama. I think that's his wife. And there he is. The new WBA champion of the world. Guillermo from Panama. Jones. And Jelen. And after, finally, 
after two times, yeah, well, first time against Johnny Nelson being cheated in England, yeah, finally, and Steve Conan split decision loss, he's crawled up, beating Wayne Braithwaite, the former WBC champion, finally came back and has won. A version of the, the Cruiserweight Championship, and I'd love to see what he does from this point on, man. I really would. New Campione, that's what we call him. Are they going to put him in the belt? They're going to issue. We need to see the. Look at the slow mos here, man. Look at this. Look at the rare uppercuts. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at this, man. No man alive should be taking a beating like that. Nah, no one. The referee. Look at that. Referee Luis Bado. He 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 done the right thing, calling the fight off there look at these shots here uppercuts look at that uppercuts the lights right hooks uppercut body shots look at this man no man alive should be taking shots like that man in your lifetime no flipping way man no way dude yeah that thing needs to be locked off that needs to be shut down locked off and and, and our spirit also needs to sit back and go sit in his armchair and relax mate nicely mate go sit in it and there is new chap is gonna be partying tonight he, look at that he's gonna be partying over there in panama city and there he is the new double ba uh cruiserweight champion of the world man and I tell you what, he, he done it in great fashion. And you know, any young fighter, like when you saw Mike Tyson go get Trevor Burbick and Marvin Hagler against Alan Minter, you go to the hometown and you strip the title. You strip the title from the champion. You are going and you beat him and you take it out. You take it out of him. That's what you do. See the waving flag. I think she's waving enough a country flag. I'm not too country sure of that country. She's waving. But definitely, uh, so the celebrations continue as Garrett Mojo is in the ring with the belt around his waist and the referee Lewis Padon with his hand raised hey man good sportsmanship as uh, Guillermo Jones and Thuro Arsen they embrace and they walk around the ring in Hamburg Germany to congratulate um, each other I mean, they put on a great fight and um, the passing of respect for Fuhrer and Arsen's um, double uh, WBA belt so we see what the former champion does but it's interesting that um you know like Arson <laughs> hey man in the day sportsmanship when it comes to boxing it's just you know it's not nothing personal you know the best man won and Fury Arson's has shown that there's Guillermo Jones with his wife his trainers and um, his team from Panama and it seemed like Don King wasn't there look at this in the replay as you can see right here look at his uppercuts he's getting and that's what basically what cost uh, Fury Arson the fight um, more he has more diverse than his offense is uh, Guillermo Jones and this is what you get for it in the result look at the beautiful array of uppercuts man best uppercut in the business in fact probably best uppercuts in the cruiserweight division you're getting there with Guillermo Jones okay fight fans so there you are man Guillermo Jones takes the WBA, WBA uh, cruiserweight championship from Fury and Arson in a spectacular fight and uh, we'll see what happens where uh, Fury and Arson goes but on from here see if he can try and recapture the belt of some other champion but it won't be Guillermo Jones that's for sure we see how, how long Guillermo Jones can hold on the belt there's some notable champions uh uh challenges out there Dennis Leverbed Marco Hook um uh Vidashi, um what's his name again Gwaki Duvache um also um there's loads of challenges, man. And Guillermo Jones has done his country proud. He's been, uh, I think, you know what? He probably might be the first Cruiserweight WBA champion. I wouldn't be surprised, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed the fight. And I'm EJ Boxing Live, and I'll catch you next one. Peace. EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here. Live here, EJ Boxing Live here.